Hello, it's me, your boy, your host, Grim the Knight here, back at it with another video of Alan Wake Remastered. Um, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video at the end. And uh, hit the bell notification if you want to also get notified when I upload. Also, 90% of you guys aren't even subscribed, so if you did subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. And, uh... Enjoy the video. Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you specialized help, the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative processes. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems. Also, it says be patient. I didn't read that. And they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment. You're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy, trademark, and its sister method, the flow, trademark, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Um, so last time, uh, we got knocked out in the water or drowned, woke up here at the, the, the hospital for creatives, creators, uh, therapy place. And, uh, these old two dudes over here, old rock and roll guys playing some games. And then there's that painter Choose outside. All, taken from all of us. And... Now we're going to continue. That dude glitched out a little bit. Yep. Staff. Think I can go I don't think I can go into that many places here. Hey, wake. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. It's a lot of thunder. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think. There's another QR code there. If you want to scan it, it should lead to another video. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. Doesn't that sound like a I line from a song? A mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Oh, it's got the ice box where my heart used to be. And I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. Uh, returning to my room. Wake. Oh, number one, boy. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. The rock star had to hammer that whole time, didn't he? Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. So why even give me the option? It's my store. I'm taking it. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Think I gotta go downstairs, investigate racket raccoon. 
Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. Come out and face the music, Birch! It's time to pay the piper! Alright, guess it's upstairs. I have the keys. Can't I do something with this? I guess not. Run to the hills. Everything is locked. Wait, was I supposed to use the keys downstairs? Yeah. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Mm. It's the artist the room. Tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Manuscript. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days. Less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. All right. I had to turn some lights behind the screen because for some reason this game gives me a, a headache when I play it. Something about the movement. I don't know what it is. It might also be this TV. It has like slight ghosting. So. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> he's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's. Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I. Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. He just... Ellen doesn't really sleep. And the work, well, he's not writing. At all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes. Tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I want to say... I look at you, and it's not you. Stranger who resembles you, looking out from behind your eyes, and I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No, no. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems, always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him, and we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. Mm -hmm. He just keeps me in the dark. If you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this. Just a recording. Is this my manager? Seriously? Barry? Ow! About time! Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me a Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else, I'd sue their asses. 
Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hardman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. Is that so? What's, what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Teach yeah, her good, Bill. That's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal. We gotta get going. Okay. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. It sounds like he's narrating out loud. Alan, please. You're sliding back Shh, into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hardman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh. Al, let's just go. Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. So Dr. Hartman is trying to use us to write a book so that he can sell it off as his own. Is he trying to take credit for other uh, creators work? That's what it feels like. Follow the light. Oh. Trust me, I can do this, dude. I've been button mashing for generations. Yes. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Upstairs it is. Generator. I missed. God dang it. I'm play I'm pressing it too fast. Charging one. What would I have done if I ran out there? Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he well, I meant run out of like the every artist flare. I only had one. Here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. So it sounds like it is what I said. Let me just watch this while I'm getting uh, attacked. The Doomed Samaritan. Sometimes, even the simplest things prove impossible. Consider, you get in a car and leave a life behind. Easy. 
Nazi. Not tonight. Why aren't there any subtitles for this? I'm so glad to be living in this place. No idea. What, Night Springs? Come on, Linda. Relax. It's not that bad. Hey, what's that up ahead? Oh, God. There's someone in the room. I think there's been an accident. Are you all right? Oh, no, Linda! Oh, no! It was me on the road! I... Wait! Tell him to watch out for the drug! Watch out for the drug! My... My God! Mark? Ah! It was Christine! Repeating? My God, Mark! Ah! And there you have it. A vicious cycle. Rudely punctuated by the blast of an airborne and screaming metal. Many roads are dangerous, but not more so than the one that leads away from Night Springs. I think that says Ultra Gear TV or Ultra Gear TM. Magic. Isn't that LG? Did I miss the turn? Am I missing something? Oh. Ah. I'm just gonna destroy these things. I think they're gonna kill me otherwise. Whoa! Heal me. Batteries. So I have to go through the maze. All right. I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of enemies. Always stick to the left. 
Always stick to the right. Always stick to the right. Or really, you just gotta stick to a wall and then follow it. Unless the maze is changing, you would always find your way out. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Strangely. So, like a wave or something there. Reload. Bullets this guy take. Talking about the TV. This the right way? You get two pills in the morning. Two pills, one for the pills, and one for the pills. Come on, Brucey. Uh keep those Hey. Man. This mental fortitude is too great. Birds are coming, I think. Reload. The six gun scribe trophy. Coffee, flare gun. I should grab that earlier. Batteries, ammo. Anything on this side? Yep, just enemies. I didn't mean to use that. Dang it! Dang.
Ooh, shotgun. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Enemy's gonna pop out. Feels like it. Oh, I'm still on the shotgun. Did it. My buddy isn't even talking to me anymore. What was his name again? Gabe? Another note. For the moment, Barry was just glad to survive the fall. He Who's Gabe? From Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Dang. Barry's armpits must stink. I don't know if that's anything, but I see them every now and then. Emil made Tom do it. Didn't they call me Tom earlier? I almost died already. It's like every time I get any kind of encounter, I almost die. Why was I even going this way? Well, I guess I had to. There's no other way to get here. Go ahead and heal me. There's Barry. Am I going to end up having to kill Barry? I kind of feel like I will. watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. He took his potato chip and he ate it.
<laughs> like and subscribe if you know where that's from. Alright, Barry, my boy. Ow! Enemies, I can feel them. Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Well, at least I know that Barry can see these things. Okay, Barry, just, you know, like, duck out of the way and let me do all the work. Concentrating. Let me through, Barry. Why do you take the poster? For the nearest, you're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time. Wake's this. over here, what like, hmm. I think we should go here. What do you think, Wake? Hmm. I think you're right, Wake. Darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. I thought that was the end of the chapter already. Or the episode. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Ow. How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al, I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! I'm supposed to say look out like I can move out of the way. Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? 
We're definitely in the south since like we'd just be walking around finding guns just laying there. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! Get to the farm. I'm go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. Get to the farm. It's a farm. There's a cow farm. You're gonna have to find cows outside. Uh, I have no protection right now. Ah! I literally can't do nothing about that. Damn. I'm trying. There's nothing I can do, man. This dude got no stamina. Ooh. Took uh, those invincibility frames. Did I make it? When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. All right, breathe, Alan. Just breathe. We have no idea how we're gonna survive. No, no idea, none. Did I come? Yeah, which way did I come from? I guess I go to go this way. Oh! There's like no way to dodge that. Uh, forget the note, we already read it. I don't need it anymore. I'm not gonna start running until something starts flying towards me. And that's now. I'm just gonna run this way. They're all coming alive. Yeah, my guy can't run anymore. This looks like something. The gate. I needed a light to destroy them together. How do I turn it on? How do I turn it on? there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Do I have to go all the way around? What? Damn it. Looks like it. Nope. Oh, stairs. Oh. 
Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. I guess that could end up coming from that way too. ahead facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous but I had no choice a light no batteries though all right let's go ah I'm gonna have to ignore enemies if possible yep Catch your breath, catch your breath. Run. Right, I'll walk until there's enemies. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as Pretty I sure it's was. Barry just For all I knew gone. it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Switch too heavy, yes. Uh, anything? Take that, take this. Still no weapon. Oh, almost fell off. Alright. It's pretty close. I was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Is that the voice of the spring, night springs uh, show? The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next but it was still bound to follow the story and chain to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Nice. Ah, oh, flares. Sick, bruh. Another manuscript? No. Bear traps. Ah! 
I'm almost there. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. If I got a weapon. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. The taken are filled with darkness. Is that everything? Yes. Let it go this way. There's two of them. Damn. Two. Fine. It's fine. I'm out of ammo. I'm just going to run now. Come when somebody is in danger, my guy want to be like, let me tiptoe. Is he gonna die? Alright. Anyways, 
with that, I am actually all out of time for this episode. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. If you would like to see more content like this, make sure to hit the bell notification to get notified when I upload. And, uh, you know, share this video. Maybe others will like it. And um, catch you guys later, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.